What am I doing in a waterfall in the southwest mountains of Guatemala? Well, my, well, my wife and I decided to visit this area. It's a coffee growing region, macadamia nuts, to look at some of the business models and indigenous groups and cooperative business plans. <laughs> One of the small villages. At some point, you gotta turn off the road and go into the plantations or the farms. Presenta la parte de comercialización del café orgánico que nosotros producimos aquí, que posteriormente vamos a mostrar a ustedes el producto que nosotros producimos. So basically, what kind of fertilizer? They're bananas. Yes, bananas. Okay. And they are. Okay, now we get further off the beaten path. <laughs> Go right. So, so, hija, this is Entonces, el café, lo que se está cortando son los últimos, los que con todo los verdes se los separan, ¿verdad? Los separamos ya después. Entonces, quiero. Que se madure. Yeah, she's not picking a bunch of them. Yeah, she doesn't have to just pick the best. Muy buen trabajador. Pues, cuando hay, se corta unos tres, tres canastas de estos. Tenemos como cuatro. Tie oh, to your okay. front and pick pick the red beans into the basket. And then if you squeeze it out, those are your coffee oh, beans. Oh, those see? are the coffee beans. And if Excellent. you feel them, they're really sticky. Let's not waste it. You see how it's mm. kind of sweet? And die. Oh, really? And yeah. they grow this fast in like a uh, year and a half. So they're yeah. a little more advanced. Yeah. This is what we're looking at across the river valley is La Florida, where oh. we'll go next. Oh, really? Um, wow. And you can see like they, well, they've had some problems, but they've, they're growing a lot of corn. You can mm -hmm. see the clear there is they're growing corn. Yeah, yeah mas para allá, ya no. Pura piedra ahí. The only thing that the, the business is, you know what, when you have packaging, it costs a lot more money. It's the coffee drying in the sun. Coffee beans, I should say. This is what? This, this is, is the coffee, coffee pulp. pulp. And what will they do with that? And this they will compost and use as fertilizer. And so they have um, like those bags in there under that shed. They do um, a lot of worm composting. So they all yeah. want to give their own special okay. touch to the roasting. Okay, all right. So the buyers buy their bean green. Green and then they roast it. And roast it. This is their on-site roaster where they do uh, small batches here for local consumption. And what they, uh, I think it's 40 quetzales. So $5 a pound or 40 quetzales a pound. And this is their coffee roaster? This is where we came from, and this is about where we are. Mucho gusto. Gracias por también por venir a visitarnos. Yo espero que también. El lugar les guste, les claro que sí. llena las expectativas que, que requieren. Ah, bueno. Este es un café que ya, como se ha cortado. During the illegal occupation, this is where many of the workers and the families live. Yeah. Here they come back from the for eating. Excellent. So black beans that are yeah. drying for eating? My best friend. They have a fledgling beehive colony there. The bees not only produce honey, but they also help pollinate the coffee plants. This is the town of El Molonga. The vegetable gardens of Central America where the 
weather is temperate enough to grow some of these cold weather vegetables. This is the road to Nueva Alianza Comunidad. Of course, we have to follow the local transport. Here's the breakdown of the families and the areas that they live in. And here's the actual count of the families themselves. 130 years old. Really? Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. These are macadamia, not trees. Yeah, exactly. Very good. We yeah. were in November and December. Uh -huh. uh, when is the grove of coffee bean? Avocado, okay. Yeah, avocado. Ah, okay, good. Like, uh, it's called uh, cashcamote. These are baby macadamia trees. They take 35 years to fruit. <laughs> Elfide says that in 10 minutes, they'll have electricity from this uh, pipe that will transmit the water down below. This is 120 years old. This is the separator from the cherry to the bean. These are the third class uh, macadamia nuts and the caterpillars are on the underside when they become butterflies they'll eat the macadamia tree so what they do is they put them into the fireplace this machine take the fruit uh, shell separate the shell from yeah, the exactly. nuts okay separate the shell mm -hmm. They're different. Okay, this, this is, is quality second nuts. quality and, and this is first quality. Yes, you yeah, can exactly. see the difference very easily. Mm -hmm. This is first quality, second quality, and third quality. The outer shell, this is what the nut looks like. When the beans are done, this is the first quality beans. That's what they sell. And it's 1,300 quetzals for how much? For, uh, 100. 100. for 100 pounds. Okay, so we remove the covering and we get what we call oro, yeah. the gold. Uh, plant. Yeah, purification plant. Uh, uh. He's loading the pure water onto the truck that goes up to Quetzaltenango. This is where we start, and these are all the heights in the region. So the coffee and macadamia forests, streams, rivers, the waterfalls. Here's the football field that we were at yesterday. Okay, so here we have the diversion of the river. It starts up there and they've diverted it. This goes to the hydroelectric system for the community and also to turn the wheel in the coffee beneficio. And then the rest of this river in the rainy season, it will come down and then that is where the waterfall will come out of. So this is the spring up in the mountain, which is what feeds our Agapura system. We've got it covered so that it can't get contaminated, but this metal pipe is where it goes. And then it goes to the um, Agapura facility. It's filtered by two carbon filters and also ultraviolet rays. So remember, I'm doing this for you. Man, if it's cold. Woo! Go get her! Woo! <laughs> Viva la Revolución! Yeah, it's often been the last time it's a lot of things. Behind me are the volcano Santa Maria and Santa Aguito and they're very beautiful and if you come on my study abroad program we will take you here. Buenos dias!
On Christmas Eve, it's traditional to have tamales. It's a rice base, and it has a little chunk of beef in the uh, center. And it has nice little mild chili, and uh, some raisins, and mole sauce. What do you think? un grupo que forma parte de esa red de asociaciones en Cobán, en, las, en, en Alta y Baja Verapaz y cerca de Guatemala. Y a veces lo que es... All of this is fair trade, as organic as it can be. Made from garbanzo beans. This is made from corn necklace and earrings are made from different seeds. Mario, dígale. Adiós. Nos vemos. Que tengan feliz Navidad y un buen año el próximo para todos. ¿Quién es lo más guapo en mi familia? Eh, tú. Tú eres el más guapo de la familia. We like to say the Gator Nation goes far and wide to help people. Well, today it's Señor Kellerman in the coffee-growing regions of Guatemala the southwestern mountains. The Gator Nation is everywhere. Go Gators! Yeah.